This is Sky Suite 203 on deck 10 of the Celebrity Beyond and we're going to give you a complete first impressions tour followed by a review of what we liked and what we didn't like after a week. First, run the tiny intro! Inside the door, we have a large wardrobe. Which we've unpacked already. Yes, we've already unpacked. Full length mirror. Nice. There is an umbrella in the bottom there somewhere. And also Umbrellas. another rack here. So for men, yep, they've got rack. lots of shirts they can and trousers they can hang, but there's also a full length bit for ladies' dresses. So mm, dresses. Very nice. I'll pull back, pull back, pull back. Should we try this little cupboard here? La, 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 la. This is an oh. extra cupboard which houses the safe, which is teeny tiny. I mm. just managed to get my iPad in it. And I don't know with all this space, why can't they just put a larger safe in? I just don't know. We really like the drawer safes, don't we? Mm. We really like them. But this is, I mean, we've got, got my iPad in, but anything bigger than an iPad, you're really not going to get in there. I apologise if the uh, LED lighting is causing flickering. It's not awful not what you can do about that. It's one of those things. Photographer's nightmare. Anyway, carry on. In this cupboard, there is a, another little, like a pocket brolly. The one in the wardrobe is a bigger brolly and a set of binoculars. Wow. So that's very cool. useful. Um, also, your laundry bag is in there if you wanted that. Three small drawers, which we're using for like just anything that we might might want to pick up on the way out. So we just put his gym gear and that in there so he doesn't have to wait in the morning. <laughs> and then in the middle of that is our bathroom. No. So let's take you into the bathroom. Come through to the we bathroom. Got, yeah, it's been, it's been a squeak, we get these lovely robes. They're really nice actually, because they're like a, they're like like a dual, dual fabric. So you've got nice sort of cotton on the outside and fluffy stuff on the inside. Yeah, and they've got the retreat logo. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah very nice. You know, they look quite ninjury, actually. The sort of thing you would expect Bruce Lee to wear. Right. A bath. Wow! Look at shower. this. Look at that. Again, apologies for the flicker. I mean, we haven't tried it yet, but we'll do another video later in the week where we've used everything, so we oh, can yeah. give you our opinion of it. But look at this shower. I mean, there's just jets everywhere. Yeah, we'll so. learn how to use it, and then we'll show you how it works. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's buttons and knobs and yeah. but this actual bath is like really cool because it's like a it's like a really weird shape yeah but um it's quite shallow isn't it but well, it, it looks quite shallow i don't know i'll try giving it the two-person test at some point mm -hmm. we'll see <laughs> and a separate toilet Shaking. with a lovely picture of a fish nice, yeah. lovely fishy toilet so that's yeah. nice we like that yeah Right and then, there, really, I really like this, and like a dressing table in the bathroom. I really mm. like it with a. a it's quite cool. Light, yeah, it's like an actual a, seat there. Yes, a little stool and your hair dryer and everything is all in this. Is in this drawer. Yeah, there's so, three drawers there. We've got all yeah, our toiletries in those drawers. Yeah, our toiletries and the other stuff. But that drawer had the hair dryer in it, and there's a socket for you to plug your hair dryer in. But, but the great thing about this is, look. Da -da 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 -da. It's a great big picture window. But is it? That is it. Yes, it, it is. Does. Well, it's not because look. Do that. Oh my goodie on, it's us. And it's a mirror. Oh, look at that. How amazing is that? That is quite cool. So if you want some privacy, you put it across and you can just see yourself yeah. rather than everybody else. Well, I prefer it open to be honest. We like Natural it. light, you know. Isn't this sink fabulous as well? It's like a double sink, but not. It is. It's like a single double sink. It's like a to me, to you, <laughs> to me, to you sink. Be able to do quite a lot of your own washing in that. You can. Sink it's quite well good for. It's quite to. good uh, if you knicker sort of, washing. Yes, sink, if you're a sort of person that gym likes gear to, washing sink. Like to do your smalls yeah. in the sink. There we are. Now what are these? Oh, they look nice, don't they? Apothecaries. I love that word. Apothecaries. I have just noticed no, though. Word. That's the tiniest towel. Is that the bath towel? This is the hand towel. Are you sure it's, it's not a bath towel? My... No, this is oh, the bath towels are down there. 
It's one of my gripes. Why mm. can't they give you a hand towel that you can wrap around your hair? Right around your that hair. is never going to fit. That's for a very hand. small headed, very short haired person. It's, my, it's a crazy gripe of mine. Oh well. There we are. Right, shall we go here? This is, this is really clever. This is the room controls, but it's not just the room controls for the temperature. It, it does all the mood lighting and things like that as well. So show us how it works so, if, we, if we know yet. We're just here. It's a little bit warm in here at the moment because we have had just had the balcony door open and when the balcony door is open, the air conditioning switches off. Which actually I think is a good environmental uh, yeah. thing. I know people have complained about that. that you know? We're fine with that, but we've that's... just had it open. That's why the temperature is a little bit higher than it should be. Um, here, this middle panel controls your lights. So this is lights half on. Half on. And then full light. So there's also mood lighting across the bottom. So we have morning mode, cool. movie mode, evening mode, and sleep, sleep mode. mode. Put it on sleep. Let's start so, with sleep. Ooh. Then morning mode. Then you wake up in the morning and you do the whole thing in reverse. So the lights gently come up and the curtains open. And all of these are controllable from the app on your phone. So in the morning you don't even have to get up. You can just press the same button on your app on your phone and it will do the same thing. There's also the movie mode. And that gives you a very soft glow on the on the lighting. Perfect. Mode. Oh, evening mode. Oh, evening mode is nice. Look at that. Yeah. That's really nice. It's a really sort of soft light. Isn't that lovely? Open and close the curtains. There we are. From that. So isn't that an amazing little bit of kit? I quite like that. We haven't tried it on our phones yet, so we'll try no. it on the apps and we'll let you know. We have a butler in a Sky Suite, Milos, and he said actually that it probably works better on your phone than it does from there. So we'll try that and let you know. Into the room, this is the bed. We haven't slept on it yet. We'll let you know what it's like. Lots of lovely plush cushions. And this is nice. <laughs> it's we nice. Like, oh, that cushion does feel rather that nice. Are good. Unfortunately, that really annoying telephone is in the way on my side of the bed, so there's literally no bedside table space there unless you somehow manage to move the telephone somewhere else. And yeah, it's okay. It's, it's cubby okay. Holes, it's cubby but... holes, but it's not very big. Um, but the biggest thing, obviously, is you know, literally no space, not even to put a, your watch or and anything. And no way like that. to charge. And either. no way to charge anything. There's no, there's no charging points there's or anything like that. Nothing, no sockets. So that's a, that's a bit of a disappointment, to be fair. But over this side, actually, it's really good because it's wide. There's some nice deep shelving in there. Um, and Helen's got some charging points, obviously. And she's got some light switches. And <laughs> look at that space. And a socket. There's so a socket. while you'll be having a morning coffee, I'll probably have to go out onto the balcony. Right. Moving across to the vanity unit thing. It's not a vanity unit, is it? This is a vanity unit. Yeah. Well, That's a chest of drawers. of drawers. So this is lots of drawers. So yeah. you can lots of really good drawers. Yeah, lots of really good drawers. They're very wide. And yeah. there's, so this is a shallow one. Then there's two deeper ones. There's two deeper ones, which are quite good because actually they've got like a partition down the middle. Yeah. So you can like have his and hers if you don't like mixing your smalls together. If you don't like smalls mixing. And with it being a suite, we get bottled water up here and uh, tea and coffee tray. Um, again, our butler just said, let, let him know what we fancy and that will yeah, be really good. It's just it's basic amenities as well. at the oh, moment. Nice. But it's nice to have a, a, a kettle and stuff. But I mean, you really need that in a suite. I'm not entirely sure, but you might do. There's a little charging box here, which you've probably seen on other people's. It's actually quite a nice little thing. It's got a good little novel idea. Keeps all your so, all your stuff sort of cable managed, but um, yeah, I mean, and actually, what I've got here is the the problem is they they put the sockets too close together. But actually, because I've got an adapter on this one, it's lifted this second socket up, so I'm actually be able to use two UK sockets. Otherwise, they wouldn't fit next to each other. So there's a little tip there. Use a this one's an American one, 
and it's got a narrower base and it comes out like that. Or and, bring um, a European adapter and you bring a European, yeah, but even so that yeah, it has to be sort of mm. yeah, it's a bit weird. But there's two USB sockets there again, and you just put everything through there, shut the lid if you want. And um it's quite a novel little idea that. And then under that is the mini bar. It's the mini bar. Now if you're a sweet guest, I think the mini bar is included, so yeah. Um, you can ask for what you want in there. Uh, we've upgraded to the premium drinks package as well, so I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm not entirely sure, so you'd have to find that one out. But nice I think we can drink these without fear of being stung hard Recycle by a hornet. Hmm? Cans of oh, water. Oh, yeah, 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 the cans of water. That's nice as well, so isn't it? Handy for taking out on excursions. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good feature. There you go. So that's that. The television, and obviously you can see our bed faces out to the balcony, which is lovely, but it doesn't give you a good view of the telly, but ta-da! And then you can watch it from, from, the, from the bed. So that's nice, and it's very easy. I mean, yeah. it, I, I could do that with one finger, really. hinged TV. Yeah. This is quite interesting because it's like a full vanity mirror, but it sort of gets chopped in half by this desk here. So you can actually use it as a vanity desk. So. You can do your whatever's in front of a lit mirror, and then um, if you want some more space, ta-da! You can put that in. Is it? And then you have a full, you length, have mirror. A full length mirror, and then obviously you can just. We've got a lovely seating area in here. This is lovely. It's a sky suite, as we mentioned before, and it's got a lovely chaise there. And we haven't got an infinity balcony. We've got a a proper balcony, which is quite nice. And so we're going to go out and show you that. Like we said before, if you open the balcony, it does turn the aircon off, but as we said, we haven't got a problem with that. It's actually quite nice from an environmental point of view. And if you want to keep cool, well, you just have to come in and shut the door, mm. don't you? In this position, it, it's fully locked, mm -hmm. and, and that means that the air conditioning is on. And then as soon as you put the handle down, the air conditioning switch is off. So even if the door is shut, the air conditioning is now off. So you need to remember to put that up. And then slides across and there's the balcony a large balcony oh, there's one or two issues with the chairs don't yeah, you I do feel like there's plenty of room and they could have gone for something a little bit more luxurious out here like a reclining chair I mean well, you can't have a snooze on them no, can you, you? it's not a snoozy chair is it you can't it? even really relax and read on no. there we have it the sky suite hope you've enjoyed our little walk around there you go. Anything else to add, Helen? No, we'll come back in a few days' time. Yeah, near the and end. We'll of let the you know how good it is. Give your opinion on how it's worked. Bye bye for now. Welcome back a whole week later to Sky Suite 10203 and now I'm going to briefly tell you about the five things we loved and the five things we weren't so keen on so please keep watching as we try to impart a bit of our experience of staying in this beautiful suite for the last seven days. All these are not huge things or deal breakers but just our opinion. Other guests opinions may vary of course. Let's start with what we loved. The whole suite had a quality feel and a relaxing ambience to it. Its colours and materials actually reminded us of a modern Silver Sea suite, and that's, in our opinion, high praise indeed. There was loads of storage space, and no drawer, surface, or floor space felt cluttered in any way, except, of course, my bedside table, which, after a couple of days, I discovered a little USB socket on the side of the phone, and so I could put the phone in one of the cubby holes and put my watch charging lead on the bedside table top. Not the most ideal, but good enough. What sets this suite apart from almost all others we've sailed in is the wall controls and mood lighting. Only the suites on Virgin Voyages have given us such control over the ambience of the room and we loved the fact the lights were configurable in so many ways. The motorised curtains were great too, although a little bit fiddly if you wanted them open just a little bit. It may seem only a little thing, but having the bed facing those beautiful huge balcony windows and the ocean beyond is really something ship designers need to include in more standard cabins. 
The joy of laying here in the morning as the curtains open to reveal the view is something you'll always enjoy and never take for granted. The only problem is you never actually want to get up in the morning. Into the bathroom now and that shower. It's not the most powerful we've ever stood under, but not everyone likes having their skin blasted off them, do they? But the three heads do give you more than enough luxury, even if disappointingly you can't have the side ones on at the same time as the overhead. And amusingly, the shower unit itself is like a little full-length mirror too, so you can look upon yourself in horror at your rapidly expanding wobbly bits as you shower. <laughs> Helen absolutely loved this little vanity desk and used this every day, both morning and evening. It's well lit and the perfect size and sort of negates the need for that full length illuminated mirror in the bedroom area. Okay, we couldn't decide between this next one and the vanity desk so we've added it as a bonus. Yes, it's the bathroom window. And again, like the suite we had on Scarlet Lady, you can shower whilst looking out to sea and we both loved that. Also, unlike Scarlet Lady, which didn't have these, these sliding mirror shutters are also ingenious. It's just a really nice, well thought out feature, don't you think? So what were we not so keen on? These again are only little things and we're so lucky to be able to stay in sweet class, so please keep the comments friendly. Yep, we mentioned these at the start and it was actually I had to spend the week drying my entire self with these as Helen would often get in the shower first and wrap my large towel around her hair, leaving me with basically a couple of face cloths to dry myself off. I suppose we could have asked for more of the larger towels, but damn, why did I only just think of that? The vast majority of the balconies on board Celebrity Edge Class are infinite balconies, a fancy name for an internal enclosed balcony. So having a real balcony this size without at least one reclining lounger is a sin that celebrity need to repent of. The chairs were comfy, but even the most slender of balconies on other cruise lines have chairs that recline. Please, celebrity, take another look at these balconies. They are far too good for such conventional, unadjustable furniture. This bathtub looked intriguing, but in reality, it's too shallow and you can't really fit two people in it, which might be a relief for some. But for example, when you're on honeymoon in a sky suite and you want to grab a bottle of fizz, fill up the bath with bubbles and luxuriate together, you don't want to be doing that in ankle deep water. Initially an exciting and intriguing prospect, but ultimately very disappointing. Sorry. Although Helen was relieved. Let's move on from my shattered bathing dreams now into something we disagreed about. The sofa, or should I say chaise long. I like these and this one was angled perfectly for a view of the sea. Helen didn't like it though and would have preferred a conventional sofa. You can tell which one of us is the arty one, eh? Not once did Helen lay on it and say, paint me like one of your French girls. Oh well, that was a reference to the film Titanic by the way, not some attempt to be smutty. Lastly, the socket box is a nice little detail, but the sockets themselves are far too close together, meaning you can't plug two things in side by side, making the number of sockets in here a bit of a fanciful design intention rather than a practical reality. That's all from Suite 10203. Please give one of these a click to continue your celebrity journey with us. Thank you.